So we have basically a signal if t as a function of t and we can plot that when we look at if t as a function of t we are having time zone <laughs> Information available in time domain. Merely looking at the information in time domain, or more specifically, looking at the plot of information in time domain that is ft versus t, presuming that ft is a one dimensional signal, that mere look does not more specifically provide the detailed information about the frequency domain behavior of the signal. So the original signal itself is said to be the time domain representation. Then we are also well aware about the transformation of this time domain information into frequency domain information by what is widely known as Fourier transform, we presume that the conditions for Fourier transform are not met, uh, sorry, are met as the purpose for today's lecture is to give an introductory view and a broad understanding about the concept of multi resolution analysis. We rather try to avoid complicated mathematical jugglery and details, even though. Those are required for proper understanding, but those may rather reduce our interest if at the first stage only the students are exposed to such details. So then when we take the Fourier transform of the signal that is represented as we so we are having Ft and when we take Fourier transform, we write it in the technology that F of omega. F omega. So Ft is time domain representation and F omega is frequency domain representation. <laughs> <laughs> So these are the representation in two distinct domains and as obviously one can note down, we can write down f of omega as f of f also where omega is equal to 2 pi f. So we can also write down or if small f and capital F is confusing to some extent, then let us make it as a g of t can be transformed into G of F, where F is the frequency. So we are getting rid of the 2 pi part in the omega. So T is time domain and F is frequency domain. So there is one as to one mapping. <coughs> the Fourier transformation is invertible, therefore for one particular ft, we get one, or for one particular gt, where g is small, we get one particular gf, where g is capital. So small g, small gt is a time function, and capital gf is a frequency function. Being time, there may be some small problem in understanding about the minus infinite and plus infinite times or future times because the transform requires everything from the limits minus infinity to infinity. So if for simplicity that that particular notion of something in future is creating some problem for us, 
actually that is not supposed to create but if that is creating for us what we should try to do without disturbing <coughs> the fundamental understanding since the purpose of this lecture is to simplify the concepts no harm would be there if we presume rather than function of time if we write g of x where x can be very well said to be the position so if we change from time domain to spatial domain without at all again taking ourselves into the time space paradox of einstein if you forget that if we think of pre einstein or newtonian era where space and time have been treated completely separately and in that context i can more easily visualize gx as a function of x for all x equal to minus infinity to infinity than for gt of t for t equal to minus infinity to infinity so there is i can say x domain and f domain there is x domain and f domain right so gx is a function in x domain and capital gf is a function in f domain <coughs> the representation in x domain doesn't provide much information in f domain and vice versa representation in f domain actually hides the information in x domain even though every representation has got its unique advantages it has got some hiding also which can be thought to be a disadvantage therefore and very obviously as the particular technology grows if i can have some kind of dual representation it is neither x domain nor f domain it is neither x domain nor f domain and from that point of view if i think of representing then we are having a theme as short time fourier transform and further where there is some mathematical representations some interpretations some equations at this stage i would like to skip all those things so also if we think of this multi resolution representation so gx is the representation in time domain or x x domain and gf is the representation in f domain means what we are doing now right now we are considering x and f as those domains about which we need not even know the other time and frequency these are two different domains but to represent something in composite domain and that too in continuous mode is difficult rather i would like to derive the advantage of the discrete time signal processing or digital signal processing broadly we can say wherein presuming that the sampling is at sufficient rate wherein i am not much bothered about in aqueous criteria what i have i do not have the continuous signal values but i have the discrete time signal values for say some period so suppose if i say that i have a 16 millisecond recording of some particular event and i am having sampling at a rate of 1 kilohertz then i can very safely say or obviously say that i am having with me 16 samples i have with me 16 samples so the concept of x domain turns to n domain or what we say as sample domain 
what we say at sample to me. So when I come rather than discussing something which is changing from minus infinity to infinity and again trying to stretch our imagination every time, even though there is no substitute for such analytical thinking, that should not be in the beginning so as to confuse the details, but at the beginning, let us try to present everything in the simple most form to the extent possible. Therefore, the first and simple most representation in discrete time domain is the 16 samples which are x0 to x15. x0 to x15. These are the 16 samples. <coughs> then I can very well say that the whatever is the total information available to me is of these 16 values and each xn can take any value maybe from minus infinity to infinity if it is continuous or discrete when we convert into digital it takes some digital value in the quantized form maybe 32 bit uh, quantization so I have 16 values so 16 values is the complete information of the signal or complete in the sense sufficient for me so that what means it is presumed that uh, the Nyquist cat is met or an anti aliasing filter is put and I have got the sample. So what I can say, my signal space now is these 16 values. Then this is called as time domain representation. Now there is no problem because I am having only 16. Being finite, being already recorded, the question of future doesn't arise. Then, with these 16 domains, if I look at them, if I plot a graph of xn versus n, which would be a bar graph, from that graph, I do not get much idea about, even though I get a preliminary idea about the frequency contains, I am not much educated about the frequency contains by looking at the bar graph because it is in sample domain. Now and very naturally you are well, ex I will not dare to make a statement that completely aware of but I will definitely make a statement that you are well exposed to what we call, that, call as a discrete Fourier transform which is the discrete transform of discrete data. Discrete time Fourier transform is continuous transform of discrete data. So when we are well aware about discrete Fourier transform, if we find the trans such DFT of these 16 values, then I do get capital X0 to capital X15 wherein this capital X0 to capital X15 can be two dimensional even though this is one dimensional it may be two dimensional in general you can presume X0 also to be two dimensional even though there is no much purpose while realizing for two dimensional sample signal so we are so this representation is considered to be in the frequency domain so small x is sample domain signal capital x is frequency domain signal both are discrete signals by looking at small x signal i do not get much information about the frequency contains in the signal by looking at the capital X signal I do not get much information about the time behavior of the signal therefore the technique which I am exposing to you without naming what it is means it is a different approach we are reaching to the destination but what the things are the in-between stations are there 
the names of the in between stations are hidden and new names are put but you will reach to the same destination so without introducing to you what is the scaling function and what is the wavelet i will and then again there are different types which are obviously complex it has been a fashion to include complex things in the syllabus that may be charge of the students but the role of a teacher should be to simplify those complex functions means if i am able to decompose a vector space of complexity n into n vector spaces of complexity 1 that is called as a good decomposition that is called as good subspaces so i will try to explain that so what we can have we are having 16 values then so 16 values is complete information but now we are having evaluation in autonomous system evaluation is the responsibility of the institute of an individual teacher predominantly then if evaluation is to be done it may not be sufficient even one complete day to fully evaluate an individual student this the state of an individual in a particular subject is full information and to represent that information we may require much numbers even not here but uh, maybe in iits or maybe some institutes abroad it is not possible for any teacher to completely evaluate every student so if the grade card is to be displayed then the grade card will contain maybe say 100 points each of them there can be well so today there was feedback on feedback some questions were asked to you which i am sure that you must have answered sensibly and not randomly wherein for on each parameter you were asked to evaluate from 1 to 5 you might be complaining that why the minimum was 1 and not minus 2 minus 3 and minus infinity <laughs> so what may happen now that an individual student there may be 100 points may be understanding regularity understanding of this uh, chapter understanding of this particular module and all that so there may be say 100 points and each subject teacher should evaluate each student on those 100 points and in the grade card for every subject there should be 100 different what we can say values but it is not possible therefore what the teacher does by multiply <coughs> evaluating teacher gives you one grade so grade means if we talk of the and if understanding of digital signal processing of a particular student is comprising the complete data which is having say 100 point information where each point can range between say 0 to 10 each point can range between 0 to 10 so there there are 100 numbers so 100 numbers is the complete information but what teacher does he gives the one number and naturally what it does just a broad average so as the grade of a student in a particular subject is his average understanding of complete subject means if ever the information is to be represented by a single number then the teacher will evaluate it appropriately and come to a proper conclusion to some number similarly now x0 to x15 is a even though i am not writing anything on the blackboard uh, the attention of an individual is usually expected that the student should look at the source of the sound 
if they are not then there is likelihood of some deviation from the attention i suppose that all of you are following it except one and he is being highly exceptional we can do them then you should not turn your faces in and around to find who that is <laughs> forget about that he may be also understanding in what we can say slippery state of mind <laughs> so the 16 sample signal but what the thing now is even though to completely describe the signal 16 when you are needed i may say that i am not interested i do not consider this signal to be important so that i should make any effort to know all 16 values right if it is so then you say well, yeah i have sampled this one and i am sure so, 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 so wait <laughs> cool you can continue you can continue this mission so we can join that so in what we are interested if a single number is to represent if 16 numbers are to represent the signal then the signal is represent completely because i have 16 sample x0 to x15 if a single number is to represent a complete signal then naturally it is quite obvious that even a high school student should will know that the single number would be average of all samples right so we go for now it is it is not sir one two one three point two i believe started yes sir so we go for simple arithmetic mean of all these numbers and that becomes a single number representation for the entire signal as grade in a particular subject evaluates the individual for that complete subject not for module 1 module 2 then part of module 1 irregularity or all that a single number so the single number is the mean so the smallest possible representation so that is mean and i presume that the mean is there for all the samples so i simply say that the mean and that mean is there for all the samples so i can say <coughs> that for mean what is the symbol we have got so all these values are represented by mean because we do not give any more space to represent only one number but then i may be further interested to know something more of the signal if something more of the signal is to be represented there is some problem now the problem is like this that you have not stated to what extent you need if you have stated that previously then it was possible to represent it in those with that much resolution but that is not told initially so initially only small information then you say something more i should be able to provide that so first is provided it is like what we can say in india we are having color transmission of television but the problem was since black and white was already active it was in such a way that if you ignore some part of it it is black white and if you take the details it is color so it's a common transmission the cost of color transmission and color television set was more because the transmission must have been such that 
black and white television set without making any change should see the same transmission in black and white form <coughs> and the color television set should see it in the color form so information should come in a sequential way so only one so only small only m is there now if something more is required then we can have two parts of it so m is there then i will take the average of this and average of this average of first part average of second part then if i have total average as m i have total average as m which i say as m0 for time m0 then the average of first part and average of second part if average of first part is say i will use some other word let us say x1 if average of first part is x1 and this x1 is away from m0 by certain amount so i will say there is a difference say d0 where d0 means x1 is equal to m0 plus d0 d0 can be positive or negative is it clear so total average is m average of first eight samples is x1 then i will write x m i have already supplied so i will supply d0 so if average of first eight samples is x1 what would be average of second eight samples naturally naturally it should be m0 minus, minus d0. d0 right <laughs> is it clear so here there would be minus d0 right so m0 and d0 i represent M zeros and these are represented. Where x one is equal to m zero plus d zero and x two is equal to m zero minus d zero. So I have given three numbers. I have given three numbers. M zero, d zero, and minus d zero. Now somebody may say, I require something more <laughs> so from that point of view what information can be supplied further we can have further half we can have so now four samples four samples when you have four samples what will happen this will be some mean now how what will represent what is this mean this one how much away we are from how much this part is away from x1 so we have to have suitable numbering scheme so i can say that here and here so we will be having d 1 0 or rather if we can have d 0 0 d 0 1 d 1 0 and d 1 1 is it clear actually this this has to be and then we need for right d0 0 this will be minus d1 0 minus d1 0 this again like this d1 1 and minus d1 right so further we will proceed and So what we have done now? 
Here we have taken all 16. Then here we have represented 8 plus 8, 2 parts. Then in that, so for all 16, we are having how many numbers? Only one number. For this 8 plus 8, we require how many numbers? Not 2. One more. Because as for d0, it is minus d0, so it is not a new addition. So we require plus 1. So then, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So for this, how many will it require? 2 more. This and Now, so here, so here, what we are having? Average of this block, first four block, is what? M0 plus D0 plus D10. Numbering right now, we don't bother much. We can come up with a very good numbering scheme. We can come up with a very good number in scheme. Right now, that is uh, not on. <coughs> now, this is the first four. After that, what we want? First two. So, if it is two plus 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 two. So, we require four more. And A is you require A. So how many total would be this? Again 16. Where is now D10? So what we can have now? Here we can have again. We can have it is the zero F layer. It is the first average. This is the first average. Then zeroth level details. Zeroth level details. First level details. Now these are second level details. So what we can have? This D0, D20 minus D0. D21 minus D21. D22 minus D2. And D23 minus D2. Then what? Next is <coughs> the next is D. So here in there again two D three zero minus D three zero, right? In that D three one minus D three one. Likewise, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have it. D, 3, 7, minus D, 3, 7. Provide me the 
इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू टाइम एज वेल फ्रिक्वेंसी तो एम जीरो डी जीरो डी वन जीरो डी वन वन डी टू जीरो डी टू वन डी टू टू डी टू थ्री डी थ्री सिक्स दिस माइनस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट क्लियर टू सब पैटर्न सो एज टोटल नंबर ऑफ सिक्सटीन आवर इंफॉर्मेशन इज कंप्लीट बिकॉज वी कैन गो बियॉन्ड दैट बिकॉज दैट सिक्सटीन नंबर ओनली बिकॉज सिंस दिस इज अ डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिग्नल naturally there would be an upper limit of to what details in time domain you can go because uh, this original signal itself is constant for interval millisecond because it is sample at 1 millisecond sample sample interval so x0 to x15 is the sample domain representation of the signal capital x0 to capital x15 is the frequency domain representation of the signal or dft and m0 d0 d10 d11 d20 d21 d22 d23 and d30 to d371 is called as wavelet domain for har wavelet it is wavelet domain representation of the signal so i arranged it in 16 a strip of 16 with option of so i can arrange the wavelet domain representation i can go for compression and all that based on this because there is some specific order in which the information is preserved so capital m0 then d0 then d10 d11 then d d20 d21 d22 d23 then d feel i write all d0 d31 d32 D three three, D three four, D three five, D three six, and D three seven. So you have choices to cut here. That's all. Only one, or to cut here, or to cut here, or to cut here. So out of these sixteen samples. If you are to only provide one sample, you will provide M zero. Something more detail M zero D zero. Something more detail M zero D zero D one zero D one one. Something more this and otherwise all. So what a particular coefficient indicates? If this M zero is what we say as approximate coefficient, means it provide it describes. the entire signal at the broadest possible level then this d0 provides the details at next level the details at next level then if the signal is a dc signal if the signal is a dc signal what will happen if the signal is dc signal then if the signal is dc signal means what all x0 to x15 are same in this situation what would be the value of m0 to all these for the m0 would be same same as the signal because same what will be d0 and all detail coefficient would be zero All detail coefficients would be zero because the detailed coefficients actually provide the information <coughs> related to the nature of variation in the signal or frequency of the signal at that particular point in time. So. higher d0 will give us that what is the component of the signal which is changing amongst two sides amongst two halves so more d0 
will mean that the signal e mod d0 will indicate that the signal has got distinct difference in average on the first half and in the second half more d0 will give us the information of the signal change vis a vis first half and second half either this or this less d0 will indicate that it is nearer then more d10 what will indicate more d10 will indicate about the change in the signal in the first half in the two half parts of the first half and d11 will indicate the nature of variation in the signal vis a vis two half parts of the second half and that will flow so a particular detailed component high or low is a measure of change at that abrupt resolution and also it points the position where that phenomenon is large so it is said that this particular representation is a multi resolution representation wherein by looking at the components i also get the information about the signal behavior in time domain as well as in the frequency domain right means the coefficients which give the details of frequency are high or low for a particular range in which we are analyzing the signal so high value of d37 d37 high will mean that that particular abrupt variation is only predominant in the last one eighth part of the signal it is between high d7 will indicate me the difference which the signal has got between the sample number x14 and x15 high it will have high d7 because that for d37 because the up to previous level i have come to a mean of d4 and d15 there would be a mean of d4 and d15 and if high d7 means what how much d14 is away from the mean of d14 and d15 and whatever away d14 is d15 is exactly at the reverse distance so high d37 will mean the distance the d uh, distance x14 possesses from the mean of x14 and 15 so being the detailed coefficient third level it gives me the information at a very small interval consisting of high frequency value but its position that is 3 7 3 and 7 so 7 indicates the position along with 3 so its high or low gives me means by looking at d3 7 d m0 indicates the average coefficients so m0 describes all and d3 7 describe means m0 contains low frequency components dc components and d the components at d3 level give me maximum frequency components because there is no further maximum d high frequency means what successive samples are far apart as sampling has taken place and there is no further uh, scope for change the value within the sample how much two successive samples are far off the highest frequency component will be more so the level 3 components of d detail coefficients provide me high frequency information but d 
three zero to d three seven are the coefficients. So they are individually different, and that provides me the nature of high frequency variations localized information. So d three zero provides me the localized information of high frequency variations. i think that i had tried my level best to explain the wavelet transform the concept of multi resolution analysis to the lowest level which i can come it is not possible for me to go further lower because that will require that i should bury myself which i am not ready for is it okay so with this the fundamentals very clear from next time we shall try to go for the classical definitions some kind of mathematical analysis some complex discussions on this wavelet so the funda if it is to be now described describe the today's lecture in one sentence as we have described entire signal excluded expected by m0 then we can describe that without going into any single formula we had tried to represent what one means by multi resolution analysis and for a common man who is having a sufficient background of signal systems i think that this is the simple most wavelet or multi resolution analysis is possible then there is a concept of scaling function there is a concept of wavelet function there is concept of the spaces there is a concept of subspaces and all that to that we shall come tomorrow